Bienvenue, mes étudiants. We are back and we need to do our next step, which is going to be adding the axles. Okay. So if we look at our drawing, we're going to be putting in our axles here at six inches apart. Uh, and we want them to be two inches from each end if we are doing the wood block. And if we are doing the plastic block, they will be one and a half inches from each end. So I'm going to start a new sketch on my block. And my new sketch is going to be on this face. Okay. Um, let's rename it. And we're going to call this sketch our axle sketch. A-X-L-E. Axles. Uh, sketch. S-K-E-T-H. And then I can click enter. Now, here's the deal. We had already cut this wedge out, but it's showing back up that it's not cut out. Okay. Why? Because this is out of order. Okay. Let me click on that. And that's extruded. So now we're not on the sketch for our axle anymore. If I go and click on my axle sketch, it goes back. Okay. What's happening is it may uh, do this for you. And it's a good thing that we label it because now we can see. We want our axles to start after we removed the wedge for the extrude. Okay. Uh, so now, because that's going to show us that we already made this cut. It's like we went to the, the bandsaw. We cut this wedge off. Now we go back and we can drill out our axles. Okay. Um, let's do that in our block now. So I'm going to click on my axle sketch now that it's and you can grab this and you can change the order to whatever it needs to be. And there has to be a little bit of logical sense to these orders. So I'm going to double click on axle sketch again and open this up. Um, and we're going to draw some circles here. So let's just draw a circle in the front. Okay. These are going to be three sixteenths of an inch in diameter for our hole. So I'm going to just type that in as a fraction. Um, and 3 over 16, and I hit enter, okay? The actual uh, decimal is one or point one eight seven five. It rounds it off to three places, so you're actually being more accurate by putting it as a decimal. I'm not worried about where it goes. We just want it in the middle. So same thing here. I'm going to draw another circle here, and I am going to type in 3 over 16, and I hit enter. Now, once those circles are in, that's the holes that we're going to drill. We're going to give it some dimensions with our dimensioning tool here. Um, if we are doing the wood block, which is 10 inches long, we're going to set the center of this hole to the edge now. Okay. And we're going to drag that down outside the block to keep it organized. And we're just going to put in two, two and enter and it moved it over. Same thing here. I go to the center. I go to the front of the car now. This should change orange. I don't want to go to the midpoint really, just to the front line. So the whole line changes orange. Click, drag this down and make that two inches and it, we're set. Now we have to set the height. Okay. The height is going to be a quarter inch off the bottom of our car. So we're going to, we're still in the dimension tool. You can also use the shortcut, which is D on your keyboard and that will get you into dimension tool. And for this one, I'm going to click on the center of the wheel and go to the bottom. Okay, the bottom line when it's orange, I click. I'm going to drag this off to this side. And I want this to be a quarter of an inch. So you can do it as 1 over 4 or 0 0.25. Uh, fraction, decimal, either way. And that bumped it down. Perfect. Let's do that to the front as well. Center of my circle. Bring it down. And this one is going to be 0.25 and enter. So, um, oh, this is not two. This was supposed to be two inches here. Um, so if you do mess up any of your dimensions, that's fine. Just double click on, on the number again. And so if you're doing the plastic car, you would put in 1.5 here and 1.5 here because your car is just a little bit shorter. We want the wheelbase to still be longer. It's just going to bump those wheels back towards the back a little bit and make it a little more stable. And this one up to the front a little bit. And um, whatever you want to do, what you need to make sure is we have, um, I'm going to grab the dimension tool. We want six inches between 
between these two uh, axles for the wheels, okay? I'd bring this down and it should be six inches. Mine is seven inches now because this is a 10 inch block. So let me change this back to two, uh, but make sure that yours is six inches for spacing here because that's gonna um, have to do with your design where you put the axle and everything. Super important to get it all set up the right way. Now we have one last step to do. Okay, right now that's just a picture of those axles, but they're not drilled through. Okay, we go to the other side, they're not really showing up. So what I need to do is I need to do an extrude again. I'm going to go up to my extrude tool, which is right here, shift E. It's the box within a box. Um, okay, so this messed up. It's wanting us to extrude off of a different layer. So I don't like that. I'm going to click out of X. If something does not look right, that's fine. Perfect. Just get out of it. What we want to do is we were in this layer. Let's use the extrude tool now. Wow. It is changing the order up. So let's do this. We can fix the order again. I'm not sure why it's doing this, but it's good because you may or may not have this trouble. Let's call this the axle extrude. So I'm going to keep that text. I'm just going to hit home and I'm going to type in the word axle, A X L E axle extrude and select. Now I can click the X. Now that's going to let me bump this down because we want to, we can't extrude the axles until it's after the drawing is done. Okay. If this is up here, it's saying we're going to extrude it, but there's no, we haven't even drawn it yet. So you're going to have your axle sketch and then your axle extrude. Okay. So we're keeping everything in order in our, our pane on the left, and that's going to organize our drawing in a systematic way. Now we can click on the axle extrude here and it's going to ask us, what are we extruding? It's auto selecting these axles for us because it's recognizing that as a new part of the, the drawing. But look, when I tip it, it's adding material again. We don't want to add, we want it to remove. So we click remove. It's trying to remove this direction. It doesn't like that. So I'm going to change the direction with my arrow. Now it's cutting into the block, but it's only going halfway. And we want it to go, instead of blind, we want it to go through all, okay. And now if I come over here to the side, let me click on the front here. Um, we can see all the way through a block. Okay, that's perfect. That's what we want. And I am going to go select here like that. And it shows up our whole shot. There's one other thing that I want to do. If I change this view here, it's not showing me what's going on inside. This whole block is opaque. I want it to be semi-transparent so I can see where my, my holes are that I'm drilling. It's one of the advantages of doing this in 3D. So I am going to go down to my part on the left-hand pane on the bottom side. There's a part one, okay? Everything that we're building is all part of part one. And we're gonna, I can rename this. I'm gonna call this um, the wedge, the wedge, okay? Uh, you don't have to, but if I right click on here, it's gonna give me a whole bunch of menus that's gonna change the way this looks or, or works. And I can change this to my material. I'm gonna assign this uh, here. What is this? This is gonna be um, Douglas fir. Douglas fir, which is a type of wood like pine. And that's okay. Uh, I can click enter. And what I really wanna do is I wanna edit the appearance, okay? You can change the color of your car right now. Um, if this is my wood one, I'm gonna make this kind of look like wood color, but I wanna bump this down here. This is my transparency slider and I don't want it too light. I want it pretty dark, but I just want it to be able to show these lines where my cuts are. And I'm gonna click check here. And that lets me see that my axles go all the way through and I verify it. And then when we go to the next step, and we are ready to do uh, the engine compartment. We're also gonna be able to double check and make sure our engine compartment is in the right place. All right, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, toodaloo, and we will see you later.